All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone taught us his truth. Shalom also to the Akim pushing this word in sincerity and in truth, and to the speckled bird across four corners of the world, and to the few sisters who are listening to you, I say Shalom, or to you, we say Shalom. Lord willing, this would be an edifying lesson. We are the brothers from the GMS Chicago camp. I'm the brother Hadashi. The brother Rapaya. We just wanted to get into this quick lesson concerning this uh, First Kings 8 and 33. Because, hey man, the Lord ultimately, he just wants us to turn back unto him, man. You know, despite us going off, despite us breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, and doing everything that we did as a nation... Hey, all, all the Lord wants is for us to turn back unto him, man. You see? That's why the Lord said how much you simple ones will you love simplicity, man. How long are you going to be stuck in this way? How long are you going to continue to love sin, man? How long are you going to continue in your ways, man? That's why the Lord even said consider your ways, man. You see, while the Lord's house uh, uh, lays desolate, while the house of the Lord is all desolate, what does what is Jake doing, man? Like the scripture says, Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked. You see, mm -hmm. you the a hey, our people get into this mentality where hey they get a little bit of uh, stuff over here in America, then they forget the Lord, man. You see, hey ultimately what the Lord just wants is for us to turn just just turn back unto Him, man. You see. This is uh, 1 Kings 8 and 33. When thy people Israel be smitten down before the enemy because they have sinned against thee and shall turn again to thee and confess thy name and pray and make supplication unto thee in this house, then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy people Israel and bring them again unto the land which thou gavest unto their fathers. So even Solomon prayed unto the Lord to uh, for the Lord that if we ever turn back unto him, to forgive us, man. You see? All the Lord really wants is for us to go back unto him, confess his name, hey, make supplication unto uh, 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 to him in his house, right? Which now, hey, now we're, we're able to make sacrifices, man. You see? Now we're able to uh, uh, do these uh, um, these pistols on, on, on YouTube, man. Now we're able to make sacrifices to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that are acceptable through Yahweh Shai, man. Now we have a way back to the Father, man. All the Lord wants is for us to turn back unto Him, man, through Yahweh Shai. You see? Yeah, I do. Uh, this is um, 1 Samuel 12 and 20. Come on. 1 Samuel 12 and 20. 1 Samuel 12 and 20, And Samuel said unto the people, Which people, you, you know, the children of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians today, and also the speckled bird, because we've been scattered to the four corners of the earth among the heathen. So we're going to have Israelites looking like uh, the other nations. All right, but this is to Israelites, all right, if your spirit can receive it. And Samuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following the Lord. But serve the Lord Yahweh with all your heart, mm -hmm. and turn ye not aside, for then should ye go after vain things which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. All right, only the Lord can deliver you. The Lord is the one that put us in this jam because of our own wickedness, and He's the one that's going to uh, redeem us out of it as well. All right, those that turn back to Him, man. That's right. For verse 22 For the Lord will not forsake His people for His great name's sake. Because it hath pleased the Lord to make you his people, man. So we were chosen, man. All right? So we're the Lord's people. All right? He loves us. He's always going to love us, man. But like a father chastens his son for going off. All right? Hey, that's why we're in this situation now, getting our ass whooped. You know? Yet the Lord the Lord says, hey, consider me, man. Consider your ways. All right? Turn back to me. All right? And I will give you the sure mercies of David, man. If you repent. If you leave off this death style. All right, and turn to the living power, man. The only way. Khan, I got one real quick to back up what you said. This is Jeremiah 3 and 1. Was, they say, um, you had that one? That was the one I was going to next. Damn. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, uh, they say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? 
It says, but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return again to me, saith the Lord. So at first it gives that uh uh that that similitude that how uh, if a man if a man's wife goes with another man, isn't that land polluted? Mm -hmm. That land is is polluted as fuck, man. That's adultery, man. You can't go back into that woman. She's defiled. She's fucking. She's a whore, man. But the Lord said, even though we played the harlot and had many lovers, even though we were a fucking whore, the Lord said, return unto me, man. That's how much the Lord wants us to return back unto him, man. Right. While we were yet sinners, he sent Yahweh Shai to die on that cross for us, man. Mm -hmm. Think about that. That shit is heavy, bro. Nobody else has a savior like the nation of Israel, man. Nobody else has a, a, a savior that wants us that wants us to turn back unto him despite how much we fucked up, man. Nobody else has that except the nation of Israel, man. The nation of Israel literally has a redeemer. All we have to do is turn back unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, man. Right, That's take, literally all we have to do. Right, and take heed to his word. All right, because you can't just be a hearer of the word. You got to be a doer of the word. When you turn back to the Lord, you got to take heed to what he commanded us to do. All right, fear the Most High and keep his commandments. Of course, to the best of our ability right now, because we are in this flesh, these chains of darkness. Yeah, but the Lord sees us trying through faith. That's you right. see? And that's what he's dealing with, man. All right? The true worshipers who, who worship him in, in spirit yeah, in and, and in truth, man. All right? But this is Isaiah 55, verse 3. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. You see? Damn. When you read about David... Hey man, the moment David acknowledges his sins, his transgressions, his fuck ups, immediately he turns to the Lord and asks for forgiveness. All right, he said, "Cast not the, the uh, cast me not away from that cast me not away from that presence, and take not that Holy Spirit from me." All right, when when he found out uh, uh, the whole deal about Bathsheba and all that, you know, when, when Nathan approached him, man, like this is you, man, you fucked up. All right, he understood that. Hey man, I gotta turn to the Lord. All right, the Lord is the power over all flesh. The Lord is the one in control of everything. All right, it's the Lord that I offended, you see? And that's what we have to acknowledge that, yes, we fucked up, man. We're in this flesh. We made mistakes. We, we uh, served other idols. Uh, 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 we served idols and other uh, philosophies, other religions and doctrines. All right? But when you wake up to the truth, hey, man, all that is scrapped. All right, yep. and you turn back to the Lord, and, and now you're you're a new man. You're putting on that new man, you know, day by day. All right, killing the old man. You see, That's but right. you do that by taking heed to the word, turning back to the Lord. You know, being the Lord's delight. That's you right. You see, I I want Abba to look down and say, yeah, these are my sons, man. That's All right? right, who are who are taking heed to my word, who fear me. That's All right? right, and have not yet seen me, but yet fear me and believe in me and in my son. These are my boys right here, my sons right here. That's who he's going to deliver. That's who he's going to look out for, his elect, man, his chosen. You see? Not everyone's going to do that. And that's why two-thirds of our own people are going to die uh, a heathen judgment, man. That's right. All right? Because, hey, that's the only remedy for them. That's right. I got one real quick. Mm -hmm. This is back in Jeremiah 3 and 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord. And I will cause, I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith Yahweh, and I will not keep anger forever. Mm -hmm. Only acknowledge thine iniquity. That's it. That thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. So, all the Lord really wants is for us to acknowledge. It's a lot kid. All the Lord wants us to do Is to acknowledge our iniquity man Where we went off Everything that the brother just mentioned right now Hey what, what did he say man We used to be in the world We used to hey, follow after these idols Do these different things in the world That were hey, uh, completely going off Towards the how about Shem Hey the Lord just wants us to acknowledge those things And move on from them man He just wants us to really uh, critically look at what we did in our life, how we fucked up, acknowledge to the Lord, and guess what? Return unto Him, man. You see? The Lord isn't looking for some grand, 
for you to do something crazy, man. He's just looking for you to, you know, just really repent. Which that word repent in the Greek, uh, uh, it means to turn back, man. To really uh, 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 change your mind. You see, you change your mind on what you used to do. You see, you don't have the same mindset you used to have before, man. It says, uh, verse 14, Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. You see? So the Lord, hey, we're married unto the Lord, man. And like the brother just said, two-thirds of our own people are going to get destroyed on this side, man. They're going to get killed. You see, only a little small remnant is going to make it, man. Only a little small remnant is actually going to turn back to the Lord. You see? Hey, that's why it says, uh, I will take you one of a city and two of a family, man. Not a lot of people are going to get saved. You see? Right, this is Romans 9. Um, I'll get right to the point. In 7, as Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, though, no, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. You yep. see? Hey, Amen. Only a, 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 a small number com compared to the population, you know, is going to be delivered. All right? The rest is going to be put to death, man. All right? As the scripture says, the slain of the Lord shall be many mm -hmm. from one end of the earth to the other. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, in, in this world was created for many. But, but what, you know, who's going to receive it? Only a, a few. The elect of the nation of Israel, man. You know, and all Israel is going to be saved. Don't get it twisted. All Israel is going to be delivered. All right. But two thirds are going to have to get it death by pain. And they're going to have to be reincarnated. In the kingdom, which is going to be here on earth through the elect. That's you right. see? And this way, when they do come back, all right, this time around, they're going to have the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of Yahweh Bashim al Shai written in their hearts so that our people as a nation the, nation, the nation of Israel, will never sin again. We'll never go off again, man. That's right. All right? And because of Yahweh Shai, we're going to be ruling, all right, with him, uh, a kingdom with no end, man. You see? Right. Yeah, that's what the one the Lord wants right now, man. He wants you to return to him and repent. So if you hear these words, all right, these are the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. This is not of us, but the Lord using us, speaking through us, all right, to wake up his elect, to give his people warning. All right? Because the Lord's gonna bring about to bring great judgment, man. Uh, Jacob's trouble specifically. That's right. And it's gonna begin with those that know that they're Israelites, but they are not living, you know, true to that, you know what I mean? That that true statement of being an Israelite, being one inwardly, all right? Because it's more than just knowing that you are an Israelite, man. You, you got to walk as an Israelite every day, you know, even when you're by yourself, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're by yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. the Lord sees all these things, man. So you're not going to fool anybody, all right? He knows his elect. He knows who's sincere and who's, n and who's not. That's right. You know? But nonetheless, hey, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Believe the gospel. That's right. All right. This time is almost up, man. And soon you won't be able to hear uh, these uh, uh, epistles. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You won't be able to see us on the highways and byways anymore soon. That's the famine right. of the word is approaching. So repent, man, before it's too late. That's right. You see? There has to be a sense of urgency in this. This is, you know, life or death, man. All right. This is about life or death right here for you Israelites. You see? So choose life, man, and come follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let us show you the fear of the Lord, man. All right? right. There's nothing better than that. That's right. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Chakodash, the honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, taught us truth. Shalom and Ababa Ba. Ababa Ba.